are you, mister, to come and tell them what they should do? We're not talking about countries because that's not the God's word. We're talking about Islam, which is the Hello? God's word. Hello, what is Sharia? Is God, what is Sharia? We can criticize. Sharia has to be implemented in a country, we can criticize not in the, the sky US. somewhere. You can criticize the U.S. as much as you want. You can criticize Singapore as much as you want. But we can't criticize the Islam. Why are you saying we're not talking about word. a country? Huh? The country is the most important thing in this yeah, in this now we're talking about the Sharia, which is of the course. God's word. Okay, is the Sharia followed in Britain? No. So would it apply here? No. So this is the country we're talking about? No, we're talking about we're talking about Islam. What Islam does? Islam is not a country. Is, I, I agree. Know, I know. But the but Sharia is implemented just, in the country. But it's a justice system, isn't it? Yes, man. It is. Where? In the Islamic country, we're not. Thank you. That's what I'm telling him. No, we're talking about the idolatry of bro, Islam. Listen if it's to yourself. A, if it's applied, listen to yourself. If it is applied or not, that's not our problem. The, we're talking about the Islam. What it says, stoning. Stone. Oh, you think stoning is wrong? Yeah, it yes, is wrong. Okay. That's what I'm saying. First and foremost, you're not a Muslim. That's not Wait. First and foremost, you're not a Muslim. You already admitted to that. Secondly, you're not in a Muslim country. So if you don't have any jurisdiction to tell what the Muslims should do or in which country they should do it, then again, it's your opinion, my friend. Yeah, and I, look, look, I respect your opinion that you consider this punishment, i.e. the death penalty in America wrong, the death penalty in Singapore wrong, the death penalty in Saudi Arabia wrong. You're entitled to your opinion. Alhamdulillah. Leave it there. Don't blame Islam for that. Because Islam is a religion which is not only about worshipping. But it is an encompassing way of life, which includes politics, economics, your social life, my social life, your educational life, everything. Islam is not something that you think is just like a political system. No, Islam encompasses your entire way of life from the day you were born and there to the day you go to the grave. And there is God. This is what there, there is good size to it, and there is bad size. Well, to the, again, that's your Stone opinion. Gay people. That's, that's your opinion, my friend. So, what are you trying to say? You that's your opinion, opinion brother. That's your opinion. Yeah. Is that your opinion? Yeah. Do you understand that? Okay. By the way, it was also your opinion. Huh? What's that got to do with following the law of God? See, look. A minute ago, your opinion changed. You said, when he asked you about incest between a father and son, you felt very uncomfortable. You said, yeah. don't talk about this. Can we change something? We don't have a problem with that, but that's your opinion. It is. Just, just like, like come along, I'm yeah. you know, just like you Maybe felt uncomfortable, right. and some, I think you felt offended, and I didn't mean to offend you. I wanted to. I, I don't mean to offend okay. you. Okay, I, I wanted to give an example where people feel uncomfortable and which is immoral, but to many other people, it's perfectly legit. Yeah. Yes. So you say Islam doesn't work like that. In Islam, the law is from Allah, and Allah He's our Creator. He knows what is good for you and me, and the community, and the whole world. Okay. You see, opinions, opinions can change tomorrow. Opinions are neither here nor tomorrow, nor there. Like I said to you, today incest is is something that is forbidden in this country. You know, who knows? In a few years, it'll be perfectly legit. Yeah. Yes. Who knows? And then no you knows. trust me, you will not be as offended because now you have been oriented by what is happening around you. Like just the way you think it's perfectly normal for a gay person to have sex, yes? Yeah. Perfect, no? It's perfectly It's perfectly normal. all right. It is. Trust me, 50 years from today, you wouldn't be saying the same. Perhaps Why? Yeah. Why? Because there was a death penalty here. For the same crime. I know, I know. Yes? I know. So just for That's 50 years. That's the beauty of it, because it's evolved. How is it a beauty? It is, because it Next year, okay. Because it Next you'll be saying incest see, is a beauty. But because now, yeah. no, no, we're not talking about... You see what I mean? Talking about gay see what I mean? You still need to get the point, did it? No, about the, gay, about the gay people. Now we understand that it's natural. Science says that... Oh, science that says? Yeah, it does. You believe in science? I do. What is science? believe in evolution? No, no, no. I, I do. Wait, wait. I do. We don't no, no, bro, come on. Of course I do. Listen, listen. You believe in science or scientism? No, I believe in science. Okay. What's facts? Okay. So how do you know something is fact because in science? When there is evidence to it. Okay. Has science ever changed something of that was? Of course, it does change. Wait a minute. So how can I believe science when it's change when it's uh, susceptible to changes? How do I know something is a fact? Because I tomorrow, because today, listen, listen. To today, what you have evidence and consider to be factual by science, tomorrow they can find another evidence to completely negate that. And then you say, no, that was wrong. No, this is the fact. Of course, in, in, in our lives become better and better so, and better. No, it's not better. about because, oh, you missed the point. Yeah. It's not about your life getting better. Yeah, I have no problem. Lives, By the way, listen, the Muslims, were, the Muslims were one of the best scientists. So I have no problem with science. No, you believe that. Oh, really? <laughs> so what do you think? The Muslims are now scientists? No, they were scientists as like all the... All the all have the you actually Indians. studied Europeans, Europeans? Listen, listen, before the yeah, Europeans, I'm, when they I'm, were in the... Yeah, listen, okay. listen. When they were in the Dark Ages, yeah. chasing rats and praying to the bones of their dead, Saints, okay. the Muslims were actually conducting surgery with surgical instruments still used in the West today. 
So don't tell me the Arabs didn't do nothing. Sorry, no, the Muslims did, didn't do they nothing. Did, they did. Yes? Not, not only them. All the did I say only them? No. All the wait, wait. Did I say only them? But they are not the greatest. I said... They are not the greatest. No, no, don't say I said one of the greatest. One of the greatest. So please listen to what I'm saying. Okay. Thank you. At least that means one of the greatest. MashaAllah. Go and look up Ibn Haytham. Yes? yes? And you'll see your... I know. Yes. I know and you'll see, you'll see your cameras and your modern gadgets. They didn't invent them. He, he, he only understood something from them. From that is how it starts, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> that he is how invention starts. But he didn't invent no, no, no. the camera. That is how it starts. Yeah, but he didn't His dark room experiment. Go and look it up. Yeah, I know, I know, I know the dark room and we're talking about Comrade Spawn. I know so, that. So what is it? They only discovered are you saying how, Are you saying that did not give them any idea? They understood the side of how light works. That's it. That's all that is the, but he didn't that is invent the camera. Point. That it's is like West. saying, oh my God. No, it's the, it's the West who invented you know, the camera. If you understood if that, you, why did look it? Look, if you understood photography, light is key. So don't tell me that it's insignificant. Because no, right, it's significant. I think you have seen that, but no, I didn't invent it. I somehow feel I, 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 I somehow feel you have some sort of it's just a foundation. prejudice. Think, uh, Do you have some prejudice towards the Muslims? No. No? Are you an Arab? Yeah. Okay? Half. Living in a Muslim country? Half. No, living here. No, no, living no. initially in a Muslim country. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Yes, you enjoy these benefits? And didn't enjoy it, it wrong side as well. Didn't enjoy it? Yeah, you still live there? Okay, no, no problem. That's why I came but there are many. because I didn't enjoy it. Egypt? No. no? I'm not, I'm not gonna that's fine, that's fine, no problem. Whichever Christian or Hindu or Jew or whatever they're living in the Arab countries, they are enjoying his benefits and they've always all enjoyed his benefits. All of them? Wait a minute. I'm not saying, look, look, I'm not saying the Arab countries are perfect. Okay? Are neither is any other country in the world. Not even good. Listen, neither is any other country in the world perfect. Now Here what? Now that's against uh, subjective. They, they, they that's give, against subjective. They give you the right to come in public and speak about Islam, speak about your opinions. You can't do that in any Arab country. No, no country okay. ever. You listen, can name one. Listen, 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 listen. You can't do listen. That. Listen, no, you can't do listen, that. listen. If that was the case, there wouldn't be any churches in the Arab countries, would there? Huh? There wouldn't be any churches in the Arab countries. No, there is the churches, but there are. You know where are the oldest? By the police. Listen, you know where are the oldest churches today? Where? In Arab countries, not in Europe. Why do you think that is? Because uh, Christianity starts over there. No, no, but why did they not destroy it? <laughs> listen, listen. Why did they not destroy it? Some of them were destroyed. No, but why didn't they destroy all of them? If the Arabs are so bad, so intolerant, so backward. I'm not yes? saying they are so, 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 no, but so, so. Look, look. But they are not perfect. The point I'm making is this. Yeah. Yes, nobody's perfect. Yeah. Do you agree? Agree. Okay, good. At least we have remnants of the existence of the churches in these countries. If the Muslims were intolerant, trust me, the 10 million Coptics in, in Egypt, they wouldn't exist. The reason there are 10 million, yes, shows us that they were not, they were free to practice their religion, build the churches and go about preaching even, okay? In India, in India, both the British rule and the Muslims ruled as well. In, I think the Muslims ruled for something like six to 800 years, a long time. Yes, this is longer than America has been independent today. Yes, about 400 years. What I'm saying is that if the Muslims wanted, they could wipe out all the Hindus over there. Yes, if they wanted, if they were intolerant, they could have killed them all oh, and got rid of them. They wait, 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 let me finish. You're, you're, let me finish and then you can tell me. What I'm saying is that the reason back then and even today, the Hindus are in a majority in India today because they were not wiped out or killed but not or in intolerant. Pakistan. Okay, look, Pakistan was already majority Muslim. No. You know why? When? Before Islam came? Yes. No. What, what do you mean no. before Islam came? Before the Islam conquest. They wiped out. Oh, you're talking about the... They wiped out all the country. They was, killed everyone who didn't... Was there Pakistan back then? That, that, that was before the, Islam came, that was, was there Pakistan? That was the biggest... Let's see if you know this history or geography. I know. Okay. I know. When, I know was about, when was Pakistan invented? After it's it's about the after Islam or before Islam? After Islam. So don't tell me before Islam and Pakistan it was this. No, the Islam conquest to the Indian to the look, Indian, look, to look, Indian look. territories. Islam. They went, listen, there, listen, they went there. Listen to it's me. Either you Muslim or they kill you. Listen to me. It's not the, simple as that. I don't think you know the history. Listen to this. The reason no, that I don't know. About no, you don't know yeah, because you're you saying know. the only option What's they had was they become Muslim in India. or kill them. No, the Muslim the Muslim country was called. Can I respond? Can I respond? Of course. Okay. Listen. Yeah. Go on. You're talking about a time when there was no United Nation. Huh? There was no United Nation. Yeah, You're talking about a time. Yeah. Okay. What did most of the countries do at that time? 
Yeah. How were they formed? How were they formed? I think it's a camera angle. This one. Yeah. How do you think the how do you think the countries were formed? Thank you. So everyone used to do the same thing. It was a might is right. So wh whichever is a stronger army and a stronger country, they would take the flag and hoist it in the neighboring if they were weak. Yeah, by killing, wait, uh, by wait, killing people. Wait, wait. This country you call very good used to do the same thing. Uh, no. Yes? I know. Because the Anglo Saxons were not the ones who came from here. Yes? They came from where? From this will be no history. Germany. Saxony. Okay? okay? So, but then they became, and then before them, they were the white kings. Again, the white kings, the Europeans, they went around massacring everyone, killing everyone. You know what? Islam also spread around the world, but not by the sword like the people say. That is your understanding because this is a myth. Wait, wait. This is a myth which many people somehow are spreading, and this is nothing but a lie. Ask, ask yourself, which is a... Uh, which country today has the largest population of Muslims? Bangladesh. No. Indonesia. Indonesia. Which one? Yeah. Indonesia. Which army went to Indonesia? Arab army. Whose army? No, no. Arab army. Arab army. Give me one. Give me one army. I don't remember the name. I think you're making up. You're making it up. No, no, no. Just, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about the Indian one you were talking about. In the, because you don't know about Indonesia, no, you want know. to go to. A, hey, you go. You go to your best look, look, example. Trust, I'm going to go to my. No, no, no. Example. This is the best. I gave you three examples. I no. gave you examples of the. White Kings. I gave you example of the Anglo Saxons. I give you, in fact, that is example of the United Nations itself. Yes, the Native Americans were massacred before they built their country. The Aborigines in Australia were massacred, men, women, and children. Do you think the Muslims did that? If that was the case, yes, it would be like Australia, where today the majority of the things have been taken over by whom? By the white people, who, the colonialists who went there and and massacred these people. If that was the case in India, do you think all the main people, sorry, all the majority of the population today and the control of India wouldn't be in the hands of the, the Muslims? No, it is because they went there and they gave them the option, like you said, it wasn't just convert to Islam or die. No, it wasn't that. It was either you accept Islam and you'll be accepted as a part of the country that has been now uh, basically in the, uh, under the authority of the Muslim uh, ruler or you pay the jizya, which is a tax. Just like every country pays tax, the Muslims and the non-Muslims, by the way, both of them pay tax. And guess what? The zakah is higher than the jizya. In terms of its monetary value, yes, the zakah is actually fixed. Sorry, uh, the, uh, what do you say? The, uh, the jizya is fixed. Yes, maybe, I don't know, 80 dirham or something like that. And the zakah is a percentage of your savings. And moreover, when you pay zakah, Yes, as a Muslim, if there is a war, you have to be, con you are entitled, not only entitled, sorry, it is your duty to be cons conscripted in the army. So you have to basically be, in, be conscripted in the army and there's no way out. But if you are someone who's paying jizya, you're not obliged to do that. In fact, you're not required to be in the army at all. Because what is a jizya? It is basically a protection tax. So you're protected citizen of the country. And one of the saying, the call of the Prophet the narration says, anyone, I'm paraphrasing here, anyone who harms a dhimmi, yes, will not, will, not uh, will not smell the fragrance of paradise. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, can I talk now? Yeah, go on. Yeah, the one who did it, what's called Mahmoud al-Ghazni. Where? In Indonesia? In, no. In, in, but my India. question to you was Indonesia. No, in India. I didn't say in India, they were not. The, in I never, India, look. You said they didn't. They no, I said in Indonesia, they, they didn't kill anyone. <laughs> when did I say that? In, 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 when did I say that? Huh? You know, your problem is you're not listening. I am listening. I said in India, said, listen, I said in India, before, listen, I said in India, they ruled for many years. Yeah. I never said they didn't kill anyone. Yeah. Of course, there were wars. Well, by the word of God. Of course, there were wars there in India yeah. as well. But the people who were safeguarded were the Zimis, the ones who were paying the, uh, what do you the say, jizya. the jizya. So there was this option to live peacefully in a Muslim land under Muslim authority. No? Do you follow any religion? Do you believe in God? Let's not talk about No, it is very it. important because you're asking me questions about my faith. It's only fair I ask you about yours. Yeah. No, uh, why why these double standards? No, I can't do that. Oh, now he's getting all... Maybe it's the cameras? Sorry, is it because of the cameras? Yes, as soon as they ask him yeah. about his faith. Okay, anyway. You can stay or you can leave, doesn't matter. But the important thing is this. In Indonesia, no army came and spread Islam by sword. This is the biggest Muslim population today in Indonesia. Alhamdulillah. And we know this. By the way, if this was the case in Indonesia and also I think Malaysia, yes? Again, a very large population of Muslims. No army went there either. This is 
clearly showing us they won the hearts and minds through the beauty of not only the ones who went there in terms of the akhlaq, in terms of the character, but also when they looked at Islam and the justice system within Islam and the beauty of Islam. Yes, that is when they adopted this religion. Yes, because they might have been a different religion. Might, might be, I don't know, Buddhist or pagan or whatever. Yes, what do the Buddhists believe in? They believe in reincarnation. Yes, so you might come back as a, as a dog or an ant or whatever it is. I mean, what is the best thing an ant and a dog has to do to become a human again? We, ac we accept Islam with yes? us and it's true. So that's what I'm saying. If anyone is criticizing Islam, I think they should look at the whole picture because that is what many people unfortunately do not do. They look at one isolated event. Okay, like today, take the case of ISIS, you know. Lots of people are against ISIS and so are the Muslims. Why? Because the Muslims are the biggest victims of these people, of the of Daesh. And this is what we oppose. We also oppose any country or any individual killing and attacking people without any fault of theirs, i.e. The, the people who are completely innocent, the civilians. Yes, killing them is wrong, no doubt about it. So whether the Daesh does, it, does this, or whether Israel does it, or whether the Americans or the Europeans do it, all of them killing by drones or killing by any other means, killing innocent people unnecessarily, extrajudicial killing, it's absolutely wrong. Yes, absolutely. You see in Islam, even when we go to war, we have rules of engagement. We have laws, we have rules not to not to kill innocent people, not to kill the civilians, not to kill non-combatants, not to kill the women and children, not to kill the people who are priests and rabbis or uh, the best. Take care. Okay. Yeah. So this is Alhamdulillah, the beauty of Islam. It is like I said, and it is a it is a way of life. It is something that touches upon every aspect of your life from the day you're born till the day you go to your grave and whether you are a politician whether you are a governor whether you are an economist whether you are a father a mother everyone has been given rights yes and this is like i said allah main one of the main objectives in islam is justice yes so even before somebody says love i think justice is important because what is the point of love if there is injustice yes anyone can say love your enemy but then they go and start smashing that enemy down with rockets and bullets. Yes? Where is this love? If you have justice, then it's quite easy to have peace. And if, it's, if you have peace, then you have love. It is something that is, again, you have to take it as a whole and not look at it individually as an aspect of only, only love and only peace. We don't care about anything else. No, justice is quite important. What is the Quran? What does Allah say in the Quran? That be just. Even with your own kit and kin, even with your own family, even with the people you know very well. Yes, don't do injustice to anyone, even your enemies. Yes, do justice to them even. So what is, what makes more sense? Love your enemy or do justice with your enemy? Absolutely. Because you see, when somebody says love your enemy, do you guys love Hitler? Do you guys love the Satan? Allah says, in the shaitan mubin. He is your greatest enemy. Do we love the Satan? Absolutely not. Yes, so we don't preach like the Bible preaches or like the Christians preach that you love your enemy. No, there's always a context because the Prophet ﷺ did show love and sorry, showed mercy to his enemies. Even. When he conquered Makkah, the people were there who were torturing him and his, uh, and his companions and killing them even and abusing them and boycotting them and keeping them basically, uh, keep, uh, keeping them stop, making them go stop for many, many months. But did he kill them? When he entered Mecca with 10,000 of his companions and an army of 10,000, he could have picked one of them, sorry, all of them, one by one, and killed them all. No, but he didn't. Exactly. And you know what is the most important thing here? Your power and your might, when you are powerful and able to take and seek revenge, and then stopping yourself, to me that is love. That is a real loving the enemy. Because he could have done that. Yes? And the following of the teaching of the Islam. Yeah, exactly. Islam. And that's why the Prophet Sallallahu his title is Rahmatul Alameen. Yes? He came as a mercy to all mankind. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. As-salatu was salam ala Rasul al-Kareem. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Islamnet is establishing the first of its kind mega mosque, think about that, and Dawah Center in Norway. If you donate to support this cause on behalf of your parents, Allah will inshallah build a home for them in Jannah. Because the Prophet Muhammad said, whoever builds a mosque for Allah, Allah will build a house for him in Jannah. So you can inshallah help your parents earn the eternal home in paradise right now by clicking the link below.